The city park is going to the dogs next weekend. New Orleans on Tap is one of the biggest fundraisers for the LASPCA. In addition to sampling hundreds of craft beers on tap, this event helps the local shelters save more animals. WDSU anchor Randy Russo has a sampling of this year's event. Well, NOLA on Tap is going on its sixth year, getting bigger and better each year. We're joined with Christy Anderson, also Kyle DuPont, talking about the big event. And uh, Christy, talk about how much it's grown over the years. It's grown a lot. I mean, we went from 2,000 people in the first year, now going over 15,000 people, and we're expecting about 20,000 people this year. And a lot of brewers, a lot of home brewers like yourself, Kyle, how yep. did you get involved in all this? Uh, well, I got involved last year. Last year was the first year that Brewstock had a booth there, um, and it was just really exciting to see all the home brewers out there uh, sharing uh, their creations. So, yeah. And how does yours taste? What would be a, a sample of your beers like? Well, this year we're bringing a fresh hopped Centennial Pale Ale, so it's going to be kind of grapefruity and floral, and then a nice dark roasty porter. So, yeah, those are the two we're bringing this year. And of course, Still on Tap really kind of features a bunch of different kinds of beers. You can sample all sorts of uh, different selections out there at City Park. Mm -hmm. What can folks expect when they get out there, Christy? Well, when they get out there, they're going to expect the home brewers to come in. Um, they can go to any of the home brewers uh, booths. This year, we're about 60 home brewers, so it's getting bigger and bigger as well. Um, and we're including the home brewers and the national beers, the local beers. We're probably going to have about a little over 400 beers at the event. Um, so come in. Uh, the free admission is one o'clock, but if you come in at 12, you'll get that first hit of the home brewers because those th those are donated beers and they're on a limited supply, so they're going to run out really quickly. So it's very highly encouraged to come out early. And Kyle, what's kept you coming back? Like, what got you coming back this year? Did you have a good time last a, year? We had a blast last year. Uh, the whole festival went great. There's the music. There are all the dogs. Um, it's just a great time to hang out and see people and try beers, and yeah, it's great fun. Yeah, we're going to have some really great live music this year too. Oh, fabulous! And how much does the beer cost? for sampling? The samples start off at a um, dollar, which is one ticket. So each value um, of the ticket is, is one dollar. Um, but some of the samples will increase up to three, three tickets, and the full pours will go from three tickets to even seven tickets, depending on the value of the beer. And in addition to the really great time that you're going to have, it all goes back to the LESBCA. Exactly. Yes. It goes right back to us, and it helps all of our programs, and just it helps everything um, that we do across the city. All right. Right, so come, it's dog friendly. That's what I love about it. Huey P. Long, Delacroix will be out there <laughs> enjoying the festivities. So thank you guys so much for joining for us. We us. appreciate it. Thank you. And again, NOLA on Tap is happening September 26th at City Park Festival grounds from 1 p.m. until 8 p.m. For more information, you can log on to nolaontap.org. And remember, you can stay.